Android 11 is about to launch but many of the LG users are still waiting to receive Android 9 or Android 10 update and that is seriously disappointing. But you know what, luckily there is a method by which you can install the latest Android update on your LG device very easily. Being said that, let's see how you can install the latest Android version on your LG smartphone because it is better to be late than never. In this table, I have shown all of the models which are eligible to be upgraded by following this method. You can see that LG G7, G8X, V40 and V50 are the only devices managed to get Android 10 update, while LG G6, V20 and V30 has got Android 9 update. However, LG V10 has never received any software update after Android 8 Oreo. And it's a shame that there are still some models which are not supported yet. So without any further ado, let's get started with the installation process. First of all, go to the website known as LG Fan Club and look for the OS section. At this point, LG G7, LG G8X, V40 and V50 users are gonna choose Android 10Q while G6, V20 and V30 users have to choose Android 9 Pi and the V10 users are gonna choose Android 8 Oreo. So easy and straightforward. So I have LG V20 so I will go with Android 9 Pi. Scroll down and search your device model here. and then download the KDZ file which appears down below. This is the KDZ firmware file which you will be flashing into your device later. After that, go to the how to flash section and download these files to your PC. You must get these files before starting the installation process. LG up 1.16, uppercut, LG drivers and the KDZ firmware file itself. After that, install the LG drivers and LG up. Then take your phone and turn it off. Once the phone gets turned off, press and hold the volume up key. While holding volume up key, connect your phone to your PC using USB data cable. Release volume up button when download mode appears on the screen. Now on the computer screen, open uppercut and choose upgrade. Then browse your KDZ file and press start button. You will see the percentage count and processing line increasing. The processing line will continue for about 10 to 15 minutes and then your device will get booted up. Congrats, your device should have been upgraded to the latest Android version. Last but not the least, in my case no data was lost but if you keep important data in your phone then make sure to backup it. Ok guys, if you have found this video helpful then make sure to subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and bye.